It fits. Next year, we're going for the 4X. Every time I speak to college kids, I tell my wife, I'm never going to do that again. She says, why? And I said, honey, I have socks and underwear older, you know, than these kids. And now I'm at a Bible college, and now everybody might be the one. I had no GED, no high school diploma. I was a sixth grade dropout. So I had a 5.9 reading level, so I had to start all the way from the very bottom. I went through the GED program in uh, 45 days, where most of them take about a year or two. Well, I'm doing this for about an hour and a half, and I'm not about to complain, but the truth is, my arms were tired. And, to be honest, I just had to use the restroom. And so I, I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to tell my wife that I'm going to leave her in the midst of labor. I said, sweetheart. <laughs> I said, after the next time, I, 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 seriously, I, I really got to pee. She looks at me, dead serious, and she goes, no, you don't. Just pee on me. If your relationship with him is simply jumping from one emotional experience to the next emotional experience, to the next inspirational thing, to the next motivational thing, then you have sorely underestimated what it actually means to follow Jesus. Mephibosheth, he calls himself a dead dog. It's hard for me to think of something more worthless than a dead dog. You know what happens sometimes with pain and cut deep events is you say, okay, Keith, I felt the pain. I even embraced all those truths that you talked about yesterday, but I'm not getting better. Please hear me when I say this to you this morning. Moving past cut deep events is a process. It's not a one-time thing. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The night before chemo, our first chemo treatment, we were actually studying Noah. We parked on the rainbow. The next day, though, was a, a stormy, rainy day. And I walked outside, and there was the biggest, boldest rainbow I have ever seen. Sexuality and the expression of sex in marriage is a lot like salvation. And you can talk to them till you're blue in the face, and they don't get it until they personally accept Jesus as their Lord and become part of God's forever family. Brian, I'm inviting you to spend this time with me. Will you come? Just like the ruler, I have a love problem and I have a trust problem. And in my relationship with God, it often looks like that. And he's like, Solomon, the last thing that I'm, I'm gonna give to you is your role is king but your identity is God, and keep those straight. Are you sharing the gospel with great power? Um, and what would, what would people say about you if they were writing about your life?